Hello, today's video we're going to be focusing on women, COVID and working styles. So research has shown that throughout lockdowns 1, 2 and 3, and for everyone else in the world, basically the last year, um, how much an impact this has had um, on women, calling this the pink collared crisis, as it focuses mainly on female economy. Um, so at the beginning of the pandemic, 55% more of women ended up opting out and resigning from their job. So a lot of the reasons for this really focused on basic discrimination as well as low level jobs, which in a household related to which one's going to um, opt out and look after the household, um, ended up being more women that uh, focused on that. So due to the uh, pandemic, um, British households ended up committing to an extra 40 hours a week on unpaid work, focus on care, within children or elderly or, you know, just basic life admin and life's, uh, life needs. Um, and the majority of the ones that ended up doing this unpaid work were women. So the estimations have already signified a greater impact on widening the gender pay gap within the next three years. And within this, it also shows the mum pattern that 50% of uh, children really do focus on their mum and not necessarily their dad. So they have to take this time to focus on them. This impact really isn't just unique to the Western world. And that's what we have to realise, that this is happening everywhere in the world. So the discrimination has really been seen everywhere, um, as well as the rise of domestic abuse. Um, so while I'm not saying that this is purely just in male, female, whatever, domestic abuse really focuses on everyone. And the impact of that, being in a household alone, um, has a really detrimental effect, even for your own mental health. Um, and it may have a signifying impact on the dependence financially. So it just shows that a lot of people are unable to get um, have freedom within that part. Um, so basically, in India, um, pre-COVID, they had mentioned that the gender, the global gender pay gap, not pay gap, the global gender gap index had um, indicated that the the path that they needed to rise. Um, for equal opportunities and uh, for men and women were was effective and it was happening. Um, female population contributed to 18% of the economic outputs. Um, the opportunities for both, for, for men, uh, sorry, for women was raised to 700 billion um, by 2025. However, th Three months into COVID, you'd already seen how much of an impact this has ha had on women. 40% of small and medium-sized um, enterprises ended up closing due to the crisis. A lot of them ended up having to go back to rural areas just to be able to survive, look after their families. So this is generational. So while this may impact one, one uh, generation, this has a detrimental effect for um, empowerment as well as... Um, female focused economy while they now may not have the opportunity to, to then build up the amount of money to start something new again it could be um have more of an effect for the next generation there are other different effects that also we can see and it already has shown that girls in poorer countries ended up opting out of school to help their their family income and this is just one pandemic there are so many other things that may end up happening for this to continue to happen. So until we do change generational and societal norms, this may continue to happen. And I understand that while I'm saying all of these really not fun uh, figures or, you know, bits of uh, knowledge, there is no short term solution. However, my next video will focus on the impacts of burnout along with femininity, um, sorry, feminine mindfulness and well-being. Um, so I hope you all have a good week and I will speak to you very soon.